We have seen in previous video that how we can import the OVA or open virtual appliance into your Proxmox environment. We used OVF file to use the configuration and using that configuration, the VM was created and then that VM already had the disk attached. In this video, we'll see how we can import disk to existing VM. So there are various files which we got from OVA. We extracted and these files are available here. And one of the files is VMDK. It could be any file format. It could be VMDK, it can be QCOW2, or it could be even raw disk. So depending upon the type of virtual machine that you have exported, I'll create a new virtual machine. I'll be attaching this VMDK, which is bootable. And my VM will start booting from this particular disk. So in order to do that, first of all, I'll be creating the virtual machine inside the PVE. So this is my Proxmox virtual environment. Two nodes are there. In this node, I'll be creating a new VM. Click on create VM. And this I'll be giving a name 302. So 301, which I imported from the virtual machine. 302 I'll be creating. And this will be import this tutorial. And I'll not be using any media with this. Next, I'll use the default settings for the system. Next disk for the time being i'll be using local lvm 1 gb just for creating the virtual machine click next and cpu i'll be using default here memory i'll be using 1 gb and network i'll be keeping it like this and i'll show you we'll add more network devices into it right now let it let it be one only confirm you will see all the configuration here and finish now I'll go to the VM which has been created 302. This is the VM ID and I'll go to hardware. You can see directly I'm into hardware. I don't need CD here because I'm not going to install anything into this using the ISO file. So I don't need CD here and I don't need this hard disk also here because this hard disk which was created and if you see here, I'll take you to the local LVM. This hard disk 302, this zero is one GB. I will just remove it. You can't directly remove it from here. You have to remove it from the virtual machine i'll just go here to, to virtual machine hardware i'll be just detaching this first and once it is detached i'll be just removing this now you can see that this particular virtual machine doesn't have any hard disk and i'll also add one more network because this is net zero which is connected to vmbr zero i'll be adding one more network here which will be connected to vmbr one because the virtual appliance that i'm going to install or the operating system that I'm going to install is a firewall operating system, which is VYOS. It needs internal and external two network cards. Click on add. Now you can see here that two network cards are available here. And you can see here SCSI controller and the disk will be attached to it. So I won't be removing this, it is fine. Now you can see here that my virtual machine is ready. I'm ready now to import the disk, which was already there, VMDK, which is here. This is now ready to be imported into my virtual machine. And if I go to local LVM, you will see here that 302 doesn't have any disk. So there is no disk available right now. So I'll go here to PVE, click on shell. And in shell, as I mentioned earlier in the previous lecture, that folder where I'm adding all the files is VAR, LIB, VZ, and upload. So I can open that folder directly here into my Proxmox virtual environment. So type in CD, which is to change the directory slash VAR, LIB, VZ. And inside VZ, we have various folders, of course. If I show you the list, these are all the folders. I'll be changing the directory to upload. And you will see here, list of files, LS. So this VMDK is available right now. One thing which I mentioned in the previous lecture also, I'll repeat that again. The storage that I'm having right now, Internally, it has two. One is local LVM, which is LVM thin, and it supports the disk images and containers. Of course, in TrueNAS also, I can add disk images and containers if I want. So for example, disk images, I can add the disk images and which will support multiple formats. But if I add any disk image into the network storage or into any external environment, it will be very slow. In order to have a better performance, we must create the disks within the local network. And if you are having the SAN storage, of course, that is a different story. Now for the home lab, the local LVM will be used. And this local LVM will support, of course, multiple formats, depending upon how you have done the installation. There are three different formats which you can create. One is RAW, one is VMDK, and another is QCOW2. These all are having different features. And I have explained all of that in the video, which is then the link is provided in the description where you will understand that in which scenarios you should use which format. I'll be using RAW format because RAW has a better performance 
better speed. And right now also, my storage doesn't support any other format. If I go here to 302 machine, and if I want to add manually a hard disk for this, and I'll choose, for example, local LVM, you can see here that the format which is locked is a raw disk RAW. So it doesn't support any other format as of now because of my configuration for the local storage. And if I show you TrueNAS, of course, it supports all other formats also, QCOW2 and VMDK. And I'm not going to, of course, create from here. I'm going to import that disk. So now enough theory. Let us go practical and we'll import that disk, which is already there in the folder called Upload. And I'll be importing this VMDK into 302 machine, which is just created. And you can see here, import disk tutorial and I'll be importing that into the raw form. So let's run the command here. We'll be using qm import disk. So import disk is the command which will help you to import the disk. And where we want to import, we want to import into 302, which is the VM ID. And from where we want to import, of course, we already have the path defined here. We are already into that path and our commands are running in this path. So we don't need to mention the path again here. We are into the same directory. And from this directory, we want to import this particular disk. So this is the VMDK. I'll simply copy this and paste it over here, or you can type it by yourself here. We have mentioned that import the disk into 302, and this is the disk. And where this disk will be now imported into, of course, as I mentioned, we have multiple storage devices here, and I want to import this disk into local LVM. Local LVM is supporting all the VM disks. So I'll be just mentioning here local LVM, which is my destination where the disk will be created. And now the important part here, of course, as I mentioned that this local LVM is only supporting raw format. And if I simply enter this command, it will automatically create the raw format only. But if you have a storage that is supporting multiple formats and you want to force that, that the new format will be created of your choice. So then you can mention that. But right now, I don't want VMDK to be created as a VMDK. I want this to be changed to raw formats so at the same time i can mention double dash format and here what will be the format it will be raw so that's it this is the command that you will be using to import the disk into your existing virtual machine so your virtual machine 302 is there so i'll be just pressing enter and now it will start importing this that's it you can see successfully imported disk as unused and if I go here to disks, you will see here 302 disk is now added, which is 10.74 GB. So what we'll do here now, of course, this command has done its job and we cannot simply run this virtual machine because right now the disk is added, but this is disk is not attached. It is unused disk. If I click this hardware, you can see here unused disk. It has not been added into it. So I'll be double clicking this and now I'll click on add. Now the disk has been linked here. You can see local LVM, the disk is already added to it. Right now, we have not mentioned that virtual machine has to boot from this disk. So how we'll do that? We'll go to options and click on boot order. And now you can see here, these are multiple devices from where the system is going to boot. You can see here right now, it is trying to boot from network. And we don't want that. We want to boot from the SCSI and I'll disable the network. Bring to the top, we'll of course do from here only and click on Okay, hard disk is ready. Now we are ready to start this machine. I'll click on console and at the same time, I'll start this machine now. Here you can see VYOS 1.3.5 for VMware. And without any issues, it has started working. And if you see here in the disks in local LVM, PVE, disk type 302, it is a raw disk format. So this is how we can import the disk. You can import any disk to any virtual machine with the help of QM import disk command and the format that I have provided. I have also provided the list of all the commands in the description. So you can just look at it. Many virtual appliances are supporting VMDK, RAW and even QCOW2. So you are having flexibility of importing the disk. Of course, the configuration of VM has to be taken care of now the VM is running. This is VYOS. If you want to know what is VYOS, I have provided the link in the description and I have shown you how we can start using VYOS as your router and firewall to secure your network. Let's move to another lecture now.